Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. Um, quick tip video. In this video, we are going to do how to change the background in Blender Grease Pencil um, quickly and effectively. And we'll also go over transparent backgrounds and how scary they can be. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Cool. So here we are in the little shader um, tab, uh, shading tab or whatever. Um, now if we go over here to the 2D animation, I'll show you how to change the background really quick. So the first thing we want to do is come over here to the little world with the line in it tab. I don't know what it's called because nothing seems to ever be named. Um, yeah, so whenever we do that, we can either leave nodes off and then just manually change the color to whatever you want. Or we can turn nodes on, which is better. Uh, in my opinion, and now we can change the color to whatever we'd like, right? So, and we can also modify the strength of the background, as you can see right here. And the higher the strength, the more it's going to affect the object. So, um, and it also kind of white out the color. Uh, as you can see here, we have zero, which is going to be black. One will be the true color. Then it'll be three times that color, which actually starts to weaken the value. I think it just adds more white to the background. Um, now going in to the um, editing of it, you might think, oh wow. So now that I have this, I would like to render this with a transparent background because you just don't want the background right makes sense i mean you can use it for a lower third or you have like a youtube animation subscribe button or whatever your reasoning behind it is so the way we do that is we'll come over to shading if you don't have this open you can go to general and then drop down to a shading tab um, so this is already there uh, so what we want to do is you can see it's checked the use nodes will come down here and it'll default be on object. We don't want it to be on object. We want to edit the world. So we'll select world and we'll make sure that this background uh, is here. If it's not here, you can do shift A, search, shader, oops, sorry, background. And then there you go. We'll drag it in and you can just plug it in like that. And now, since we plugged this new background um, node in, if we come back to the 2D animation, it will be white. So we come over here, and now um, you can either do background or emission, it doesn't matter. But we wanna make it transparent. So we come over here to this little camera tool. When you drop down to the film, hit transparent. So here's the film right here transparent and now it should render as transparent now there's a one more step that we do need to do though um, we need to come over here to this little printer icon make sure that you're rendering in a format that supports an alpha channel an alpha channel is going to have the transparent value inside of it so this is a PNG which is known to be transparent um, you can also do I don't know anything else other than a PNG. I know MOV does it, but usually uh, Blender, Blender does not support MOV if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, anyways, we wanna make sure that is RGBA, not RGB. So RGBA, so it's basically red, green, blue, alpha. We want the alpha channel. You can do 16 or eight, leave it on eight to be honest. Compression 15, none of that really matters as long as you have the RGB eight um, set and then you set your output directory. And then once you do that, you are set up to render. Now, when you render, you push F12. Um, you... All right, so cool. So now if you see the render, you can see that it is transparent. All right, cool. So yeah, that was our quick tip video for today. I hope that video helped you uh, in setting the background and transparent values in Blender Grease Pencil, or really just Blender in general. If you guys like this video, like it, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see some more quick tip videos. I like these videos because they're fast for me to make and it makes it just easier in general. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.